Hi, welcome back. I was just reading about someone we have shared many times on the Fancy Nancy Book Club, Amelia Bedelia. But look, she looks different. These books that I'm about to tell you about are Amelia Bedelia when she's a little girl. We've known her when she was grown up as a housekeeper and doing all those funny things. What do you think she would have been like as a little girl? Do you think she still misunderstood some of the expressions people have? Well, this book is written by Herman Parrish, who is related to Peggy Parrish, who wrote the books about Amelia when she's a grown-up lady. Let's look at this book called Amelia Bedelia's First Valentine, and she's a little girl. At school, the teacher gave them many little copies of Valentine's that they could make. And you know how there are a lot of expressions on little Valentine cards like, you're a heartbreaker, or you're so cool, or I believe in you. Well, you can imagine when Amelia Bedelia read those, she thinks she needs to fix them up a little bit. And look what she has done. She took them home, and the one about the broken heart, she put a Band-Aid on it. <laughs> and then the one about being cool, she wrapped it up in tissue so it would be warmer. <laughs> and the one about our nuts for you, she put peanuts in the envelope with the little squirrel card. And just as she's getting ready to squirt some honey on the card about the bee, her dad comes home and says, Oh, Amelia Bedelia, you don't want to put honey in the card. But that's our friend Amelia. She takes everything a little differently than most people do. Now, Dad knows it's almost Valentine's Day, too, and he tells Amelia about Cupid, that little angel baby with, with the arrows. Well, Amelia Bedelia takes that literally. That means she really does believe there's a real live baby flying around with wings that shoots you. So she spends a lot of her Valentine's Day looking around and watching out and ducking those arrows. At Amelia's school, it is a wonderful day. They have a great big cake for Valentine's Day. The teacher has decorated the room. Oh, I think this room looks ooh la la, and I would love to go to school here. They even have a fancy drink called Punch. And this little guy at the party says, may I have a little Punch? Guess what Amelia does? She gives him a punch in the arm. <laughs> oh, Amelia, that's not what he's talking about. And then before you know it, she starts looking out for arrows again. Poor Amelia, she's a little bit confused. So confused, in fact, that when she goes to her bag and tries to get out her Valentine's that she made for everyone, she doesn't have them. She thinks she left them on the bus and she is very distraught. Distraught is a fancy word for upset. And believe me, you do not want to be distraught ever, especially on Valentine's Day. But her teacher comes up with a way that she can still give everybody a Valentine. I wonder what the big idea will be. Well, I can't really tell you, as you know, but you can check out this book to find out. And if you like these books about Amelia as a little girl, there are many more listed on the back cover. Amelia's first day of school and her first field trip. Oh, I can just imagine what she thinks, a field trip. She's probably saying, where's the field? It'll be a lot of fun getting to know this little girl, Amelia Bedelia. And another little girl I think you'd like to meet 
is this little girl that I had never heard of. But there are several books about her too. Her name is Geraldine, and they call her Jerry for short. And she's Jerry the Very Fairy Princess. The author of this book is a famous movie star. Her name is Julie Andrews. And I remember she was in Mary Poppins. She was the actress who sang so beautifully and was the nanny for the children. And now she's older and she's an author. She wrote the book with her very own real live daughter, Emma Walton Hamilton. You know it's bound to be good if Julie Andrews wrote it. And if you've heard of The Sound of Music, she was the special lady in that movie, too. Well, Jerry is a very special little girl, and she pretends she's a fairy. She dresses up in wings, and she has a tutu, and she has... Wait a minute. She sounds just like me. Look at her room. Is this a Fancy Nancy book? No, but Jerry is a kindred spirit to me. That means we think alike and we like a lot of the same things. She loves Valentine's Day too because it's so fancy. And on that special day, she is in her room digging out all of her heart accessories. That sounds just like me. And look, she even has a dog. I wonder if she's as fancy as Frenchie. Well, this little girl it just is so much fun. Her daddy says she sparkles everywhere she goes. And that's a good thing. Wait till you hear what kind of Valentines she has for her friends at school. She does a personal delivery of all the Valentines by standing up and telling each of her friends what she likes about them that makes them sparkle. Here she is telling one of her guy friends that she loves the way he plays the trombone and she's pretending to play a musical instrument and sending out, out sparkles as she talks about each one. What a fun girl! And do you know there are more books about her too? Oh, you'll just have to find them in the library. Remember, Julie Andrews, the famous lady, is the author. And this book was a number one New York Times bestseller. Whoa, that's about the most famous book award you could ever win to be the top seller in the whole country. I'm glad I found this book to share with you. And now I'd like to share with you my book about Valentine's, Fancy Nancy Heart to Heart. It's all about how I love to decorate and dress up on Valentine's. And as you can see, I dress special today. I found a shirt. Can you believe it? That's a Valentine's shirt and it has French words on it. It says, je t'aime, which means I love you in French. And it has an Eiffel Tower, which is the beautiful place in Paris, France, the most famous city I've never visited. Paris, France, but you know I will someday. One reason I love Valentine's Day is because of all the love and kindness. Here's my dad giving a bouquet of roses to my mother because they're in love. And here's Fritchie all dressed up. I even put wings on her so she would look like a Cupid dog. This book is fun because it's also a mystery. I receive a valentine from someone that's covered with fuchsia glitter. I love glitter and I love the color fuchsia. 
but the person did not sign it. I have a secret admirer. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do the rest of the book, try to find out who the secret person is. If you want to know, you'll have to read along with me as I work on this mystery in Fancy Nancy Heart to Heart by Jane O'Connor. And the illustrator, of course, is Robin Price Glasser. And speaking of those famous ladies that write my stories, remember my books that are chapter books. There is one that makes me think of Valentine's Day. It's called Nancy Clancy, Secret Admirer. It's from when I'm a little bit older. And if you like chapter books, you will love that one. All of these books have my loving stamp of approval. I hope you have a very fun and exciting Valentine's Day. Maybe you will have a secret admirer. You never know because it's secret. I hope you'll write to me and tell me about your special plans or celebrations. And don't forget to tell me about the kind of books you want to see on the book club. Before you know it, it will be having another celebration of some kind. But really, every day's a celebration when you love reading. So keep on reading those good books and let me hear from you. Until next time, lots of love. Au revoir.